It's a B E E E E E E E compilation. Who were my Rizzlies? Well, one of these days, I'm going to eventually run a Twitter post because, my God, are people migrating to Blue Sky real fast? Food, $200. Data, $150. Rent, $800. Las Vegas Sphere, $450,000 a day. Utility, $150. Someone who's good at campaigns help me budget this. My small business is dying. Anyone can reintroduce wolves. Bring back the seven-foot-tall, soul-eating Irish elk, you cowards. Look at that. I want to ride that thing into battle. Well, how else are we supposed to wash the station's windows, Ensign? Meet me at the scaffolding outside. Oh, you can't hold your breath for 90 minutes? Okay, I suppose you're one of those 30-minute people. Weak. About as weak as the guy who read that without your accent. I'm so sorry. This design is ass. Session terminated. No way. Bro, imagine having art style so bad that Adobe's like, We don't want to feed this to our AI feeding machine, you fucking mongrel. While I go through the trouble of putting on makeup, the Rose Finch just wakes up in the morning and looks like this. If you piss off your friends who have multiple romantic partners, you'll have to face their... <sighs> polyrath. It's, it's polyrath, guys. You see it? I asked the produce guy if I could try a grape, and he said he wouldn't care if I lit the store on fire with him in it. I think he was flirting with you. Why did it kind of work? Because I can't stop thinking about him. Sanic, the Hedgehog 3, is going to be the pinnacle of cinema. We can quit making more movies now. Two dumb hedgehogs beating the shit out of each other over Tokyo, one of them on a motorbike, isn't ever going to be beaten. Yesterday, I overheard my two-year-old son saying, Are you sure this is a good idea? And my five-year-old son replying, Trust me. And I have never moved from one room to another so quickly in my life. Man, this house ain't got enough outlets. What if... What if we kissed under the mistle toaster? James Cameron says Avatar Fire and Ash will introduce two Navi tribes. One is nomadic and travel through the air. The other represents the dark side of the Navi. They were destroyed by volcanic eruptions, so they resent nature and everything the forest navvy preach. Does he think we're fucking stupid? Is this how we find out Avatar is actually just James Cameron's Avatar The Last Airbender fanfiction? I'm a top. I'm a bottom. Okay. I'm Vengeance. I am the Knight. I'm Batman. Send reply. 14 other users made the same joke. Send. Do better. This will save lives, but also make YouTube comment sections very, very quiet. Um, your rent is due? Nuclear bomb right to your face and cock. Ugh, said that with a little too much confidence, didn't I? I have an idea for a new TV show. A girl reads her DMs out loud, and five mothers have to guess which of their sons wrote it. Ten out of ten would binge every episode. Conversations with the five-year-old DM. It is the spider dragon. What is that? A massive black dragon with eight legs and big pincers driven with poison. That is terrifying. It has a breath weapon. It breathes millions of tiny spiders at you. Screw rolling for initiative. Can I just roll to surrender? November sucks. Can't shave, can't nut, and you have to write a 50k word novel. The Shining. You're gonna, you're gonna look me in the eye and say that Jack Nicholson went absolutely batshit fucking crazy because he couldn't nut or shave. You sure it had nothing to do with the ghosts? Turning around just cringe because 13-year-old girls don't... Let me stop you right there. When I was 13, I wrote a story about how Legolas fell in love with me and how I went to Middle Earth and then Aragorn also fell in love with me. We are cringe. We are legion. Also, if you were 13, you were either cringe or you're fucking lying. I hate when people put their age in their bios in Roman numerals. You think I know what number that is? Square Edix only has 16 Final Fantasy games out right now. Don't try to be cheeky and change your age to Dissidia or Crystal Chronicles. They're tactics. Yo, I'm low-key getting a tan. Do you know who else is getting a tan? Wait, why is, why is the tip so small? It's the size of this walnut except way smaller. Old Man's Treasure by Carl Gussell might be one of the greatest paintings of all time. Like, hell yeah, that sure is a treasure.
breaking news. Wasp 77,573 is the first wasp on the moon. Update, he died. Scientists cradle scotch egg in hands. A tiny fist breaks through the crumbs. A scotchman hatches. The odds of a rabbit watching you right now are low, but never zero. This popular tweet is funny. I wonder what people have added in the comments. 200 comments from blue checks. Porn bots saying they're horny. Bots clumsily repeating OP. Normal seeming replies that were actually copy pasted from other non blue check users farther down. Hey, there's occasional non insane blue checks. I-, I fear I am not one of them, but that's for totally different reasons. Dudes used to just hand you particles. Well, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to the beautiful yet horrifying world that is Jurassic Park? Or do you want to go with Tim Allen as he films last week instead? <laughs> Heartwarming. This two-year-old family couldn't afford his $20,000 electric chair, and their insurance didn't cover it. So a high school robotics team burnt down the insurer's headquarters. I am the lactose champion of the world. The milk will flow with my victory celebration. Just don't ask where it came from. Thanks for taking our mascot to the winner's circle. Two Red Bull and an Adderall breakfast is the most important meal of the day, that's right. My guardian angel, currently taking the form of Nakita Komaida to try to get me to listen to him. Do you think maybe a vegetable would cause less despair? Hey, I guess whose apartment? Has a gas leak? Jesus, that was a year later. Watching someone else control the computer and doing it differently than you is one of life's greatest challenges. Like, what do you mean you just renamed the pictures you snagged off the internet? What do you mean? In an exclusive interview, Normal Frog, as he now prefers to be called, talks about his journey to finding peace and happiness. You know, it's a, it's, it's been a long road, he said. For years, I was known for my wild behavior, but that was just a symptom of my underlying mental health issues. I hope when the next time you watch Crazy Frog Saves Christmas, you you just remember that I'm not that guy anymore. Is that show arcane or any good? Yes, actually. It's got a, it's got a slow start, but it's really heartfelt look at the price of power, the responsibility of the elite, and the love and bond between sisters. Wow. So the game it's based on is good, right? Oh, gods, no. Never play League of Legends. Believe in myself. The same person who got me into this mess. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Please, lie down on the... <laughs> on the strouch. <laughs> it's totally normal behavior, I swear. You know, I could say Sonic is blue and still have at least 10 miserable people write full essays explaining how he's actually not. Are you fucking kidding me? What would you do in this situation? Probably stepping on houses and killing people and things of that nature. Get ready to craft your world. Minecraft movie, only in theaters 2025. Wonder if Steve will become the twist villain when it's revealed he won't let him beat the dragon because he doesn't want to leave. And then, as a bonus, as a bonus, bonus, uh, credit, post credits, post credits cutscene, um, he, he, it, it closes on, on a book, like the credits close on a book, and um, it says, uh, if... <laughs> it says... <laughs> you just hear this in my voice, it says, and those are my Minecraft diaries. It's increasingly clear that Ellen DeGeneres was an environmentally significant apex predator in the media ecosystem. She'd have extracted all the entertainment value from the Hak Tua girl in a three-minute segment and banished her back to the anonymity, maintaining ecological balance. We got rid of all the wolves, and now we're surprised by all the deer. In the words of me, Canyon Hak Tua girl, Yeah, well, what do I know, Hak Tua? Why mafia isn't a fucking aesthetic, a thread. Hey, hey, cook the pizza. Go fuck yourself for real. I can't with these people anymore. I hate you all from the bottom of my heart. Ignorant piece of shit. Elon Musk's generative AI chatbot, Grok, turns on him, labeling him one of the most significant spreaders of misinformation on X. Damn. None of his kids love him. Oh my god, it's Patrick Seitz. Hi, yes, I love you. Thank you for your performance. It's Hector. The window says Harley Market, but... <laughs> 
Well, <laughs> I think we all say what it says. <laughs> Please stop sending me pilots for your Star Wars series ideas. I'm not that John Favreau. I feel your pain. I just walked out of the bathroom at the Susie joint I'm at, and I had to do do a double take. What? What? what that's, that's Rodan Shrek, isn't it? That's Rodan Shrek I'm looking at, right? You've heard of the violin. Now get ready for the violins. Look at this fucking punishing gray raven ass weapon here. Souls veterans think souls is difficult, like white people think buffalo wings are spicy. Yeah, I said it. I had to leave my wife and children back in the village. I'm sure they're doing just fine. Wait, he's straight? <laughs> Furry porn has gaslit entire generation of thinking this guy fucks dudes canonically. Transformers 1 is currently the number one movie on Paramount Plus. Is Paramount Plus a real streaming service or another thing you Americans made up? No. No, it's real. It's very real. Scientists say octopi could rule Earth if humans die out. Makes sense. If humanity were to vanish, octopi might become Earth's next civilization builders, says experts. Professor Tim Coulson of Oxford University believes octopi's intelligence, tools-wise, show more. Holy shit, Splatoon is gonna be real. You finally get to be a lonely- Oh, wait, I'll be dead. Girl, dog, dinner. How do these people fill in job applications? The key to surviving online is inoculating yourself with the correct amount of anime. Too little and you will feel endlessly lost. Too much and you will lose yourself to endlessness. You know what's great? I feel like this statement could apply to both sides of the extreme anime spectrum. Like you could have watched so much anime that you become so attached to all of those properties that you can't even imagine someone doing horrid things to them. Or you could have watched too much anime and become completely desensitized, and now you really don't give a shit when someone does horrid things to them. All about the human experience, really. Except with anime. Shower Wing is like, let me put some goop on. Let me take that goop off. Let me put some goop on. Let me take that goop off. Let me put some goop on. Let me take that goop off. Let me put some goop on. Let me take that goop off. Worrying works. 90% of the things I worry about never happen. Thanks, worrying. Body parts are often metaphors. Guts are courage. Balls are courage. Spine is courage. Toes are small pigs that participate in the market economy. I never thought I would change my name when I got married. I was the first medical Dr. Newton in my family, and I'm very proud of that. But when presented with the opportunity to say, Hi, I'm Dr. Sleeper, and I'll be your anesthesiologist, I just couldn't pass it up. How am I supposed to study when my hedgehog just sits there waiting for me to give him attention? Interesting fact. T-shirt is actually short for Tyrannosaurus shirt. Because of the short arms. God damn it. Learning French has really encouraged me to live in the moment because I currently cannot conjugate any other verb tense. The year is 2246. Disease and hunger have been eradicated. The terraforming of Mars is complete. The symbol for save is still the floppy disk. Hey, I'm gonna need you to finish your story real quick so I can tell you how the same thing happened to me, but it's more interesting because I'm in it. The hell you mean, Pickless Big Game and Silent Hill 2 use the same sound packs? Vinny, Vinny, what, what the fuck did you mean by that, Vin, Vinny? 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 What do you mean by that? Yeah, Elon, train your AI of this. Yeah, we're back, bitches. No, 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 we've made a mistake. This is like the teenagers in horror movies that accidentally summon an extremely powerful demon from the old ages. We do not want futuristic hop back. And finally. Flat. This is the perfect logo. Makes me happy every time. Graphic design major here. The reasons why this logo works so good is because the kitty and the doggy are best friends. Ah. The German title for Zelda Ocarina of Time is the silliest thing ever, yet no one ever talks about it. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> das Flutenduten. <laughs>
Behold, a shadow and Maria in Sonic 3. Okay, I know it's a joke, but as somebody who works at Cinemark, I'm begging y'all, don't cheer and clap when Maria dies. Don't do it. Don't. Jolly, I know you mean well, but telling the internet not to do something is likely not going to give you the results you're looking for. So the Mages Guild, I'd be working on my casting, but I didn't say which kind. <laughs> I like big butts, and I cannot lie. My brother likes small butts and cannot tell the truth. Each of us guards a door. One leads to an anaconda that has sprung. The other, to certain death. My daughter loves the things she's learning in grade two. And she woke me up this morning by whispering, I have more bones than you, directly into my ear. So I'm pretty psyched to be raising an extremely powerful science witch. HP Lovecraft voice was described as high, almost falsetto, with a flat nasal quality and distinct Rhode Island accent. Which means he spoke like Peter Griffin. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog, or a.k.a. Ogliev Maurice Wentworth Hedgehog. Yes, that is his name. From a young age, I knew everybody was wrong, and I was right. Fuck, this area sucks. I'll look up a guide. Guide, this area sucks. Fuck. All right, chat, name that level. Stars needs to clarify if robot racism is a thing, or if that one guy in the bar in the first movie was just an asshole. Really don't care about the Acolytes or the Mandalorians or shit. I just really need to know if that robot was a piece of shit. Oh, I gotta put on my best Leonis voice for this one. <clears throat> if my three-year-old nephew calls me Uncle Poop again tomorrow, I'm going to ruin Thanksgiving for everyone. There's only two types of guys in this world. One, guys named Derek. And two, guys not named Derek. So true. My tater tots for Thanksgiving, but they keep disappearing. Ugh. You fucking suck at Tetris. Hey, wee oui, wee. Oui. Yesterday, I had a little croissant and too much coffee, so I had a, uh, how you say, panic attack. I'm this close. I'm this fucking close. Friends with benefits implies the existence of friends with consequences. Well, there are definitely friends with consequences. Procreate is a crazy name, to be honest. A drawing app called Fuck. Well, no, no, no. It's freakier than that. See, fuck can usually just be for, like, entertainment value. Procreate means breed. I had a dream last night. I was at a hyperbole convention, and someone asked how many people were in the attendance, and this dude said, Like a bajillion! And everyone started clapping. <laughs> That's a good one. First teaser for the Concord episode of the video game anthology series, Secret Level, releasing December 10th at Prime. There you go. Discover Concord? Okay, sure. Is there like a video game of it I can play somewhere? What the citizens of Gravity Falls see when they look up. Oh shit, dude. Can you guys stop reporting our tweets for spam? Oh, I'm gonna do it. So for tomorrow's delivery, it would be $53,346.29. Or it could be for free delivery on Thursday. <sighs> okay, Thursday is fine. What aren't people talking enough about? How 70 to 80 year olds are generally regarded as unemployable due to mental decline slash skill mismatch, yet they're exclusively running the country? This is very interesting. Well, I never thought of it like that before. Jesus Christ. Giving series 10 out of 10s, not because they're flawless, but because they've personally impacted you and all of its perks overshadow the flaws. Uh, this. This is good. Not romantic, not platonic, but cosmically intertwined across every universe. <laughs> gay versus gay. Call that shit fruit ninjas. At work, they used AI to create a job application, and this is what it did to the gender identification section. I'm fucking crying. All right, which gender are you guys? I don't want to answer, female or bad. I didn't even get anything for free! Community note, Gunpie has received several things for free, actually. Throne.com slash Gunpie. Okay, how incredibly boring was the Truman Show at first air? Like, people would be flipping through the channels and then like, oh, it's a live baby channel. A stupid baby just sits there 
Like, sure, it probably got better, but how did they survive the first month, let alone the first two seasons? Well, okay, so that's a very good question, because in the movie they said, like, everybody loved it from the get-go, but, like, <laughs> media industry lies to us all the time, so... Don't think it, don't say it, 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 it, I'm gonna piss on the phone. God damn it! Whenever my friends make drunk plans for brunch, I always feel like a Shark Tank judge. Like, you have no real plan. I've seen this idea fall apart before, and I know for a fact you don't have any money. For these reasons, I am out. Saying that Elden Ring should have an easy mode in a room full of men just to feel something. Amazing how whenever you go to the post office, the queue in the front of you is made up entirely of people who appear to have ended up at the post office by accident, have in fact never visited a post office before, and have no idea what they want out of the experience. I was at the post office and someone at the back of the line said, You mind if I skip to the front? I just need to mail a package. And the bravest man in the world said, Do you think we're all here for fun? Filed in photos which are terrifying if you know what they are. Non-threatening otherwise. In the words of our resident tiny shark, Oh no. Same image without the steak ad. Community note. Bro forgot the image. I forgot the image! What the fuck? Community note. It's alright. We forgive you. American citizens dies due to lack of affordable health care. Wages not growing. News owned and operated by war profiteers. World's health seized by global oligarchs. Student debt exists. Washington Post. Russian propaganda is making millennials reject capitalism. My two-year-old nephew just absolutely roasted my ass. Got on FaceTime with him and showed me his trains and he asked, Where are yours? And I had to admit I owned zero trains. Fucking humiliating. And finally, a man hired social media influencers known as the Varos Twins through Cameo to tell his wife he wants a divorce. Divorcey! <laughs> hey, you. O over there with the face. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Come in. Come in. Come here. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. You are uh, looking to get some out of your C or character of your hyperfixation? Well, guess what? My wife has commissions open. We got little guys. We got vest sketches. You into shipping? <laughs> we got that too. And then there's the ever old reliable Sybil Renders. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that man right there. That's a, that's a high quality man. Mm. You can use the code XHITTER for a little discount on the simple ones. And this will end December 31st. I can't say the name of it or else YouTube will find out what I've been doing. That's XHITTER for a little discount. You got anything you want to say, wife? Please help, M. Broke. Fantastic. Okay, now the video's over. You can go home.